Hey my gators, welcome back to How to DIY and Save a Dime. I am the single mom versus the fixer upper and as you can see, I have a haul. Now, I've been doing this budgeting thing and kind of got off track the last couple months, you know, with the holidays and trying to get stuff done around this home. It's been kind of like, uh, haven't been truly sticking to my budget, but still kind of being mindful of the amount that I'm spending. So my budget for groceries is $50 a week, okay? It's Rizzy and I, so $50 a week is my budget. I haven't been to the grocery store last week, so I went this week. And I actually did good because for this week, and could would have been stuff that we like ran out of and I just decided we're gonna eke it out until I'm ready to go to the store, which was today. And I end up spending $80. Hey guys, so this is the editing me, and as I'm sitting here, I'm I crossed out all the things that were actually staples to see the difference in my budget. I forgot to show you guys this. Now let me show you. This is a all these orange juice. This is a all these orange juice. In my brain, and I'm going to be honest with you, every time I grabbed this, I figured this was just a half a gallon of orange juice. No, it's not. Half a gallon of orange juice is 64 ounces. 64 ounces times 2 is 128 ounces, which is what a gallon is. If you look at this, it says 120, I mean, it's 3.78, which is 128 ounces, which is one gallon. That's what 128 ounces is. This is actually only 52 fluid ounces. So two of these will only equal 104 ounces ounces I'm lacking like 20 ounces which is a lot because I only use about I think four ounces a morning to take my minerals so I can use that's four servings of juice for me that I'll be missing paying more for this three dollars and sixty cents when this was five dollars six dollars and fifty five cents less money so just little things like that. Also, let's just, let me do this quick calculation to see something and then I'll let you know what it was. So out of these items, I have green peppers, rustic potatoes, they were actually $3.99. And my cereal, which is wheat puff, those was $2.09. The actual pancake mix was $1.95. The mandarins was $3.59. The orange juice was $6.55, which is still not bad. I'm saving according to the amount, as you just heard me say. And then um, the deli meat, I really don't want to uh, count that because it's a staple, but that's something you more than likely have to buy every week. Um, I'm thinking of stuff that I really don't buy every week. The juice, I do buy every week, so I won't count that either. So we have um, sweet potatoes, lemons, and um, that's about it. So let me calculate those things. I had a lot of things square off. But a lot of things I'll say I won't consider them staples, so I just mark the ones that I do. The ones that I do, green peppers, rustic potatoes, um, I was going to say cereal, but mm, the way I eat cereal, at least maybe once a week I will buy a different box of cereal if I'm in a cereal mode in certain times of the month. So I didn't count the cereal. Then um, pancake mix, that is a staple. That's not something we buy every week. It usually lasts us a whole month that box um mandarins i'm not gonna count those because my baby eat those consistently so every week i'm usually buying those again orange juice i got a, a um bigger jug so that way i don't have to buy it every week maybe every two weeks so i'm not going to consider it's a staple but something i do need to buy more on the regular sweet potatoes I'll consider that something that, that usually lasts, that pack of sweet potatoes will last us a couple weeks, probably three to four weeks, um, cause they'll last long if you package, I mean, store them correctly. And I'm starting to store my stuff out of the refrigerator instead of in the refrigerator in a dry area, which makes them last longer. And lemons, that's a staple. I, I had the pork sausage, but I realized, um, I have to realize that these are things that I purchased for meals that I'm planning. They're not staples. It was different for this, for this, you know, this actual um, shopping haul, but it's not a staple. So, in total, it would be, all right, for the stuff that were staples that I don't buy weekly, total to $16.40. So, that would be, um, let, me, let, 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 let me see, let me clear it. All right, so it was a total of $16.40, which would have left my total if I didn't have to get all those staples, $64.59. So that's still doing really good because it's still less than 
uh, $50 a week because it's been, it's gonna be for, this is for kind of like last week, all the stuff I didn't get and then um, this week. So $64.59 would have been the total, but the total, actual total was $80.20 and the difference was $16.40 of staples. So that's kind of how you keep track of things. So technically I could go off of the $64.59 and split up the difference between last week and this week but we're just gonna go with 80 20 to keep it easy and then next haul we'll see if i end up spending the 20 like i'm gonna talk to you about in here or not all right later guys continue watching and 20 cent for everything that you see here was 80 dollars and 20 cents so i'm excited about that um and that means I still have about $20 to work with if something um, is needed between next week. So hopefully this will pull us through this week coming. Today is actually a Thursday. So it's kind of weird because I usually go on a, a Sunday or a Monday. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully this will pull us through. Um, and this is just not a haul, but I'm talking to you because as a mom and the way that prices and stuff are increasing... It is so much better to make things um, yourself, meaning cook yourself. Now, one thing I can say that it's a toss up between making things from scratch and homemade. Like, for instance, I wanted to make my breakfast bombs. And that's where I have the um, the uh, sausage and gravy, the breakfast sausages and gravy that I make from scratch inside of a homemade biscuit. Well, the price of the uh, whipping cream is like five dollars, right? when I can just buy a can of biscuits for $1.75. You see what I'm saying? Um, and we don't eat biscuits often, so even if I want to get biscuits again, that'll be two times that I can make the biscuits. Even if I did get the whipping cream, I know I'm not gonna use it that often before it probably expires, so it's best to get the biscuits. Those are the type of things I do. For instance, if I decided to make a cake from scratch, well, I gotta count. Uh, all of the things I need to put in that cake, is it worth it? Now, Rizzy wants to make a shortcake. So in this haul, there's actually this little quick, when I let, when she's baking and I let them bake and they want to do like a dessert and she's, she's wanting to get back in her zone of cooking. She has been cooking. She made creamy salmon last night. So good. She followed my instructions and it was so good. So, so, so good. Um, and so she wanted to do strawberry shortcakes. So I got this and this is, I'm going to show her how to turn it into a pound cake. Um, 89 cents from, or 90 cents from Audi. Way cheaper than the box cake at Walmart. So things like that are the things that I will implement because it actually saves money. It is about saving di your dimes, okay? Saving your pennies and still trying to get something that you know that you can make. So I don't like to just throw hauls out. Oh, I just got this. No, I want to teach you if you're new to being a homemaker, if you're new to being a mom, if you're new to living on your own and trying to figure out how to budget. That's what I do. $50 a week and that is about $200, right? It doesn't seem like much, but if you stretch your meals and cook your meals every day and also consider meals that like spaghetti, um, chili, we're making chili tomorrow, that can last you two or three days. You get what I mean? Try to find those type of meals. I always try to cook some type of casserole, some type of meal that I know we can eat again. Now for breakfast, I might do something a little fancy if it's on the weekend, because usually she's in school um, and she don't like really eating breakfast um, in school, so she don't really eat till she come home. But um, if the lunch is okay, she probably will eat that. So I'm gonna show you everything I got for $80. So I was able to get some snacks, some produce, some meats, and you know items that we ran out of and so i'm going to show you that but this was only eighty dollars and twenty cents i remember when eighty dollars would get you so much more but it's a lot that i can do with what's sitting here like things like this we're going to start with the fact that i got a huge bag of potatoes that is not just for the week we ran out of potatoes so i had to get it so it kind of took away my budget and this was like about five bucks that kind of took away some of my budget because I don't buy this every week, but it was needed because we ran out. 
these ran out i got one lemon left and i use these for my green tea i like to keep fresh green tea in the refrigerator um with different fruits in it and that's what we drink versus drinking sodas we try to stay away from them as much as we can it's not that we don't drink them but i try to limit that so i needed lemons she loves cuties we're out of cuties and usually i don't have to buy them every week depending on if she has company and they kind of eat those like candy so i wanted sweet potatoes so i can stop eating so much rice and pasta with meals i I'll probably have a sweet potato and a veggie with my food i'm trying to change it up you know everybody tries to change everything up in the beginning of the year but it just makes you feel like okay okay another year is coming let's move let's do something different okay so sweet potatoes i don't have any so this and this and this are staples that are all gone we don't have any more and this i always try to keep lunch meat and this time i got the black forest ham from Audis and that was like three something. Um, so I have that. This is a staple. We always try to have bacon in our refrigerator. So we have bacon. Um, for the chili, this is some of the stuff that was new. The Italian sausages for the chili and also my kibasi. And then I also I like to keep this in my refrigerator as a staple because some way, somehow we will make something with this if I'm not, um, if I have not planned a meal, it's like, okay, I have this. We can do burgers, we can do meatloaf. We, I mean, it's the sky's the limit. I can do Salisbury steak, the sky's the limit. So always try to keep you some form of meat, um, some type of produce or chicken or something in the refrigerator that you know, hey, I haven't planned anything, but take it out. And then you can look up recipes and find something if you want something a little different. Like, hey, I got ground turkey. Search ground turkey and find you a recipe. So these are staples that you should have in your refrigerator. Um, for the shortcakes, I got I have one in the refrigerator, but we like a lot of whipped cream. So I end up getting another one. But they're only like 85 cents, so it's not bad. Um, sausage for the... Uh, sausage and gravy biscuit bombs I'm going to be making and I'm going to do a video on that so you guys can see that when I do make those and I got the biscuits for those I like to do the buttermilk versus the flaky it just gives it a, it's just a better texture and concoction okay um we ran out of peppers I used to keep peppers in so that is something that is a staple we ran out of so technically that's five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve um bacon i have one pack but this will be another 34 50, 60. so these are things that i may not buy every week depending on how many packs i bought maybe bacon yeah because we love some bacon um but this right here is staples that except for the sweet potatoes the potatoes the peppers the cuties and the lemons these are staples that we run out of in cereal i actually love this cereal some people can't stand it but i don't know why i like this cereal it's it's good i like it so i'm almost out of it so i got me another box of that we like these crackers with our chili so we only have one pack left and i usually keep these in here it's kind of like a staple because we can do tuna um for like a, a lunch thing you know a snack thing or also oysters or sardines or something like that you can do with these and sometimes you just might want a snack and you want to do like peanut butter or something so those are staples for snacks for your children. If you have little kids, you could do pea, pea peanut butter and jelly cracker snacks. It's so good with uh, strawberry jam and peanut butter on those. If you didn't try it, try it. So that's a little sweet snack that you could give your kids, but semi-healthy. You know what I mean? Um, I already told you what the cake mix was for. We ran out of the pancake mix. Now, I um, like to, like I said, have stuff that's so much easier because Rizzy, like I said, is getting into really, really wanting to cook. And she has been amazing me and it's making me feel so amazing to know that I can say, hey, and if you've been rocking, you know, she used to cook on her other on her channel as a child and her channel link should be down there. and You'll see her cooking in the kitchen and she's really awesome at it. I want her to do it again, but I'm not going to pressure it. If it's not something she wants to do, she don't have to. So I always keep these on hand because not only can this be used for pancakes, it could be used for waffles and her thing is making waffles with chocolate chips in them we already have the chocolate chips so when her company comes she's going to be doing either chocolate chip pancakes or chocolate chip waffles um as one of the breakfasts for her friends when her friends all right um since we're doing chili i got some crushed tomatoes i got five cans of dark kidney beans and tonight is going to be a sandwich night that's why i got the black forest ham and i got two different chips that we can choose from just to give us a little bit of variety barbecue and wavy and this cheese is actually cheaper than the other cheese that Aldi has in the song sale for 179 you get 10 slices and the gouda is so amazing when making grilled cheese like when we eat our uh, tomato soup that we had like for uh christmas eve 
listen if you haven't tried this i take garlic um, and crush it up and I kind of like um, put it in the butter with some parsley Italian seasoning and I take and melt the butter and put it on each side of the bread or you can do it with mayonnaise and then you um, put the gouda in there and it's like a garlic uh, a garlic um, grilled cheese sandwich so good so that's another thing Lizzie and her smoothie she been wanting them like every day and she said just do strawberries and banana because those are her favorite concoction so i have that i love me some celery i will get some ranch and some celery and i will nibble and gnaw on that so i'll probably be eating some carrots and some ranch and celery and ranch a little with a little bit of chips and a ham sandwich for dinner tonight that'll be my dinner and i also got some broth and i'm going to use a little bit of this for my chili and that is it that was 80 bucks guys but this is going to make different meals and incorporate it with other things that i already have this will definitely pull us through for a week and a half because the chili itself i know we're going to eat on that for at least three to four days because we're going to make a huge pot of that so that alone is going to take away about three or four days of this particular um week coming up and then i can budget for the next current week and i'll let you know how that goes so we know we got 20 dollars that we working with left for this current week that's coming up um and so if anything pops up where i need to grab anything i know i still have 20 dollars in my budget to go and get something so every two weeks it's a hundred dollars but i did 80 bucks and i'm happy that i did do that so yeah Stay tuned for more hauls, but explanations of my budget and what I spent and how I did for the month. So at the end of the month, I'll tell you if I went over and what it's looking like, because that's what this is about. How to save a dime, how to save a dime and do things differently. All right. Talk to you guys, the Lady Gators, and I will see you in the comments. Why? Because if you talk to me, I talk back.